So we have a character here called Trouble Seeker. We've adjusted his stats, we've given him some money to spend, we've got the skills together that he has that he can use and has been trained in, so now let's equip him so he can actually accomplish something. If we go to the Equipment tab here, we go to the market. Now there are far too many items on this list to bring them up easily in one list. So we've divided it into subcategories, armor or computers or general gear. For the time being, let's get him some armor and we're going to go and we're going to get him a vac suit to protect him from space. So we will then go back to his inventory and if we bring up his vac suit, we can manage it. There are a number of items that we want to add to make it a better vac suit. We want to give him some magnetic grapples, which are boots that allow him to walk on the outside of a hull. We want to make this vac suit self-sealing to help protect him, and we will add a thruster pack so that he can move in zero G a little bit more easily. If we go to the inventory, we can just install each of these and we can see that it comes up as an upgrade on his vac suit. Now he's not yet wearing the vac suit, we need to go to equip. Now he's wearing the vac suit as is shown here. If we go back to the market, let's get him a computer. Because the computer is a useful thing to have. Now each of the things that I bring up, whichever, whether it's armor or a computer or an electronic device, an image will appear and some information about that item will appear over here. If we go to computers, the, some of the important information is what the computer's rating is. And we find that computers um, are not very heavy. They are very useful and they're not very expensive either. But this one has a rating of 2 and it costs 300 credits. So let's get this. And now if we go back to our inventory now, one of the things you do want to bear in mind is as these tabs show what is in that list that is eligible to be in that list. And if you go to all, it will show everything that you're carrying. And the same is true about if you're at the market. If we go to manage our computer, we're going to add uh, some software that we want to increase its util usefulness by adding an intelligent interface. We just go to inventory and install that and we can see that it is now using up one of the two processing units. And if we go back to the market, we can go to an expert system and we'll pick that up. And when you select the expert system, it wants you to define what the system is an expert at. And for this particular little utility, we're going to want to have a navigation system. So we add navigation, and we now have a little computer which will help us as we move across the surface of the planet. And if we install that program and then we equip it, when we go to the skills, even if we don't have that skill, we go to all and we have to go to navigation. We find that when we go to roll it, the portable computer with the expert system removes the minus three that we would normally have, making this a very useful thing to have. And on a roll, we succeeded in about an average way. So that is how the expert systems can help you when you don't have the skill that the GM says, hey, you need to roll on such and such. In the next video, we'll talk about weapon systems.